Okay, Dr. Mindy here, and I want to continue my discussion with you all about cellular metabolism and what it means to speed up your metabolism. So I can't tell you how many times I'll sit with a patient and they'll say to me, my metabolism's slow. It's just that my metabol metabolism's slow. I'm not eating that bad. My metabolism just is not performing at its best. So what I'm hoping to do over this week, and I'm going to continue to do this in my metabolic reset on January 5th, is help you understand what the heck metabolism is because it's hard to fix something that you don't understand what it is. So I have five steps that I work with with my patients to get them to start to reset their metabolism. So this week, whether you're watching me on Facebook or you're watching me on YouTube, I'll be going through those five steps so that you can at least walk away from these videos with an understanding of what you can control and ways that you can go about, very easy ways that you can go about speeding up your metabolism. So let me start off with a big overarching principle because I think it's important to have some context in which to put this in. What is fat? Why do you get fat that starts to accumulate on the body? And what I want you to start to realize when you see fat accumulating on your body, that those are areas that your body is trying to put toxins. Now think about it from the body's perspective. If the toxic load is building, 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 would it make more sense to put those toxins in your heart and your lungs? Or would it make more sense to take those toxins and actually store them in some place that's not life, it, putting your life in danger? So all that extra weight is are these toxins that have accumulated in the receptor sites of your cells, they've accumulated on the inside of the cell. That's all that fat is. So what you've got to do in order to release the weight and to speed up your metabolism is you've got to make the cell healthy, okay? So that's my big second thing I want you to know is that when you look at the human body and there are 72 trillion cells in our body, if, if your cells ha are healthy, then they're going to spit off a ton of energy. So you're, this is one of the ways you know if your cells are healthy is if you have great energy. If you don't have great energy, then that's one of the first signs that there's something going on with the cell that's making it sick. So as you go through life, as you accumulate more and more of these sick cells, like I mentioned, the body will start to store it in fat, but also your energy will come down. So when I'm talking about metabolism, I'm talking not only about I want you to look great in your skinny jeans, but I want you to have a limitless, like insane amount of energy. And if you come at weight loss from a cellular healing point of view, that will happen to you. Make sense? So with these five steps, I'm going to start with step one today. This is the, and they're in the order in which you need to go about repairing these cells. Okay. Step one, this outer membrane makes a huge difference on if you are getting nutrients into the cell and if toxins are going to get out of the cell. There are three ways that you need to start to repair this outer membrane. The first is you need to lower your glucose and glucose comes in the form of breads, pastas, sugars, sugary drinks, alcohol, uh, even fruits. You have to start to lower this down. Now, I know we're at the holidays, it's really hard to think about doing that, but even if you took one day and you decided between now and, and Christmas or now and New Year's, you were going to lower those, those foods down, breads, pastas, alcohol, sh refined sugar, uh, fruits, and you were going to lower them down, what starts to happen is you start to make this outer cell porous and now nutrients can get in and toxins get out, can get out. Second thing that this cell membrane needs is it needs you to change your oils. Stop eating the canola oil, the safflower oil, the sunflower oil. Those are inflammatory oils. When you go out to eat, find out what oil they're cooking with. If you're like on a diet trying to lose weight and you're putting these harmful oils in there, then what ends up happening is this outer uh, membrane becomes inflamed, it becomes rigid, and toxins can't get out of the cell. So lower your carbs, lower your sugar, Make sure you're eating the right oils. And then the last thing is start to look at where you may be getting toxified. Here are the biggies. Pesticides. Start to look at how, many, how often can you go organic. 
So can you just commit to fruits and vegetables being organic? Uh, look at the dirty dozen put out by the EWG. Um, but pesticides will start to block up these receptor sites and they will make it very difficult for you to get the nutrients in and the toxins out. Um, endocrine disruptors. Believe it or not, go look at your beauty products. If you're putting toxic uh, beauty products on your skin all the time, then it's going into these cells and it's creating more toxic sick cells and it's causing you to hold on to weight. Has anybody ever, you know, most people don't think about that, that weight gain can be coming from a toxic, from your beauty products, from the crap that you put on your skin that's toxic. Uh, I personally have a, an app that I love called Think Dirty and think dirty, well, you can go and scan all your beauty products. You can find out if they're toxic or not. Um, a BPA plastic, I just saw this the other day on a, a podcast I was listening to where this woman was talking about um, how the most important thing you can do to lose weight is to move more and eat less. Uh, nothing could be further from the truth. In fact, join me at the Metabolic Reset. I'm gonna show you why that is not working. And as she was telling people, what they needed to do to eat less and move more, she picks up a plastic water bottle and she starts drinking it. And my brain was like, what? She doesn't understand that BPA plastic will sit in these receptor sites. They will cause the, the cell to be sick. They'll cause that cell to be toxic. And then your body's gonna store it as fat. So we gotta look at where BPA is in your environment. Um, and then heavy metals, you know, we're big fans of heavy metal. De uh, detoxing in my office. I've done videos on that before. You can go to my playlist on YouTube. I have a whole bunch on heavy metals. And then the other piece that blocks these receptor sites is fake food. So fake food is like your chips, your Doritos, your, uh, your um, processed meats with like nitrates in it. Um, anything I say that you could leave in your pantry, go on a vacation for a couple weeks and come back, if it still is fresh and appetizing, it's either a dead food or it's a fake food. But fake food is getting caught in these receptor sites making cells uh, sick. So first step has three components to it. You've got to lower your sugar, you've got to change your oils, and you've got to stop toxifying yourself. And, and those of us that have been on this journey for a long time, we'll spend a, we spend years trying to make this happen. So it won't happen overnight, but each time you start to make a difference in improving cellular health, your body now says, oh, I can burn fat. I don't need to store this as fat anymore. I can actually utilize this cell for energy, and all of a sudden your body starts to drop weight. So that's step number one. There are four other steps I'll be going through this week. I'm going to show you how to power up your mitochondria so you can have insane amount of energy. People who have insane amount of energy typically tend to have amazing lives. I don't know anybody who has a, a, a great amount of energy and has a really crappy life. I haven't seen that yet. Um, so I'm going to show you how to power this up. The third thing is we're going to show you how to clean the inside of the cell with all different kinds of fasting. I'm going to show you, the fourth one is I'm going to show you how to take some of these really sick cells and how can you just replace them with a new healthy cell. I'm going to show you what, how you can do that. And then the last thing we'll, I'll show you at the end of this week, my fifth step, is that you've got to turn genes off. So some of you have had this cell, so many of your cells sick for so long, you've turned on a gene for obesity. So on the last, on video number five of this series, I will show you how to turn that off. There is a formula we're seeing at work in my office. Uh, the move more, eat less is not working. It's not a lasting solution. You gotta come at metabolism from a lot of different angles. And the cool part is that your body wants to burn these cells for energy. It wants to burn fat for energy. You just have to teach it how to do that. So. I hope that's helpful. If that, I, if that helps, always put helpful in there. And if you want to come to my Metabolic Reset, uh, I am live streaming it. I'm also local here in the San Francisco Bay Area. Just put Metabolic Reset in there and I will send you an invite. We will be starting a 15-day reset on January 7th. Uh, and I will be coaching people through that process. So if you're at the event or you're live streaming the event, you will get all the details on that and it will encompass everything I just told you about. So as always, I hope that helps.